second phase of the initiatory passage or rite of passage is what we refer to as the severance phase. So the first one being calling, that calls you forward towards something. As you move in that direction of the calling, you encounter the severance phase, and that is where things begin to fall away. Um, intentionally or unintentionally. Sometimes it may appear accidentally that things are ending. Um, or sometimes you might intentionally create change and, and end certain things in your life. But this way of severing from the old way of being in the world, the old way of belonging to your life. Uh, whether it be relationships that don't work anymore, old ways of, old beliefs that just don't serve you anymore, um, old reactions to things that are, that you've just outgrown, old, old stories that you have about yourself that just don't work. You know, they're not useful to keep playing that story over and over and over about yourself. Um, you know, the stories we tell ourselves are the most, uh, can be the most challenging. And so in the severance phase where we're beginning to drop these things away, you know, it may come in the, in the way of a moving from one place to another or change of relationship or change of job. Um, and, and severance being, being a period of, uh, of often loss. Um, and this is where in, in the initiatory passage, it's where often people will seek uh, therapy uh, because it doesn't feel good. You know, the, the thing that they once had, that once was precious or once was familiar, is changing. Um, and so it can create some uncertainty or some fear. And so they may reach out for a therapist or a friend. Um, they're reaching for a guide. And... Um, meeting that guide that can assist them in seeing that yes things are things are falling away things are dying you know we have to have uh, autumn and winter before spring comes around we can't just go from spring to summer and back to spring and just the way that our culture would rather have it in this way of moving from vision and creativity and then action and then vision and creativity and action is know that that autumn does come and in autumn the sap starts to recede on the vine things start to turn inward things start to let go and then the dormancy of winter moves in where we're not seeing growth even though roots are growing deeper in the ground we're not seeing it above ground and so there are these periods of dormancy and so the severance moves us in that direction um, and it's and if we learn to see it as a, a methodology uh, that is present in nature, um, then we tend not to uh, pathologize ourselves um, and seek a remedy that causes us not to feel that, um, but to seek a guide that will help us navigate the territory and the passage through this severance landscape. Um, where we begin to examine um, uh, things that are falling away. And um, so severance is that period of time where, you know, if you, could, if you could live your life as if you knew that you would be dying in, in some predictable amount of time, how then would you live and love in that period of time? This is what severance is about. Um, the way that death as an ally can teach us how to live more deliberately and consciously and lovingly with ourselves and others, this is severance. So in the, uh, in the way that, uh, you know, when I say life, at least in this lifetime, we can think of it as beginning with birth and then ending at death. This initiatory passage begins with it run, runs opposite. It begins with death, severance, and ends with birth later after we cross the threshold into something new. So these passages that feel like loss are the, uh, 
the time of, of turning inward, like autumn and winter, where we're, we're setting down the, the seeds, um, but there's nothing happening on the surface.